Hey guys, it's Brennan. Um, back with another video. Today I am unboxing this. This is a box I got from Rails of Sheffield. Um, I'm pretty sure it's my Hornby Terrier. The um, the new releases. I think this is Leiden Hall. The um the new one they're making an LBSCR improved engine green. But um, I just figured I'd open up for y'all on camera. So. Get through the sides here. There we go. Move that back. On the inside. Here, I'm gonna move this track out of the way first though. I can help and get a good one. Uh sorry about that. My camera, kinda flopped over it's rather unsteadily propped up right now so Ooh, it's so wasteful look at all this plastic dude oh my god and yet more why don't they just have a box you know this size let's see what we got here with compliments thank you for your order from rails of sheffield we hope you enjoy your purchase Compliments. What does this mean? I guess I can, some thank you cards. I think that's proof of purchase, but you don't want to show any private information, so I'll move that all out of the way. Let's see with the box. And there it yes, it is. It is the terrier, everybody. Wow. Okay. I see here's the Here we go. There it is, folks. The brand new Hornby Terrier, an LBSCR improved engine green, lead and haul. Um, I'm just gonna show you what's on the back of the box real quick. I'm not gonna read it. Um, all I will say is it is a zero P, which is pretty weak. But um, that's about it. But y'all can pause the video and try to read that if you want. Um, again, there's the engine code R3811 DCC ready LVSCR A1 slash A1X Terrier Leiden Hall number 48. But um, you know, we need to just get it out of the box. So Oof, that's a tight fit. In person, oh man. See, I kind of like the Hornby railroad packaging because if the railroad packaging was a block of ice, then you could just slide it out the side instead of having to stick your fingers back in there. Let's just pop that up back there. And then, there we go. Um, just your instruction manual right here. A1, A1X Terry. There's all your information stuff that you need. Don't know if y'all can see that very well, but whatever. Um, yeah, jeez. Oh my god. This thing is so tiny. Holy crap. Like, you see my hand right here? My hand is about eight inches from here to here. When I put this next to my hand, it's just wow, like so small. But anyways, let's take a look at what we've got. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna check the camera real quick. There we go. Leading hall. Start off at the front, I guess. We have a NEM coupling non-springing buffers uh, an already attached vacuum pipe um headlamp hand, headlamp holders i'm sorry i forget what they're called um another one right here as we move along to the side of the model uh, you can see this very delicate um brake 
rigging down here. And um, the beautiful side rods, painted red. Oh my gosh. And a die cast metal um, running board right here. It's very nice, very weighty model. I'm very impressed. Um, of course, lead and haul painted on the side. And then right here we have, I assume, a pump of some sorts, like a brake pump or something. Not really sure. Um, we have a step ladder here to go up into cab, which is, I don't know if you can see, but very detailed and painted with that yellow lining on the outside. That is absolutely fantastic. We have uh, sanding pipes right here too, and more pieces of brake ring on front and back. And you can really see, but they actually have like this little hole that goes through the frame. Or I'd assume there would be, um, that's where your inner cylinders would normally be on a real mo on the real one. Um, on the, onto the back, again, non-spring load buffers and a very nice NEM coupling. Um, we have glazed plastic in these little portholes here. And although the, the coal load is not that realistic, it's not bad. I mean, I, I, I've seen worse. I mean, and you know what I'm talking about if you have an old tender drive horn VA3. I mean, the coal load in there is just terrible. Uh, here's the other side. Not much different from... The side we were just looking at except it, it does not have a pump here but that's cool um this actually i i do believe i know what this pipe is here that is a condensing pipe and it would take water uh, all the steam has like has built condensed into water and actually puts it back here in the tanks in the side which is a pretty neat feature but um again it's a very beautiful model um i'm probably not showing it off that well on camera because I'm um, it's not good at making videos I don't know if you can see in there but that cab is also really detailed um there's not much about to say about the model it's really beautiful a really detailed model by Hornby and I'm just so happy to finally have one um it's it is simply beautiful guys I it's amazing but without further ado, I guess I'll set all this packaging and stuff aside, and then I will put the train track and get the train track out over here. Uh, just a little bit of Bachman easy track I had sitting around that I have up here. All right, there we go. Can y'all see that pretty well? I hope so. But we're just going to set it right here on the tracks. That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to pull it up. Let's see if she moves. Yes. Mwah. This is simply... A, this is absolutely amazing, folks. I mean... This motor in it, I do believe, is three pole instead of five pole, uh, which means it's generally a little less smoother, but that is a really smooth drive. As slow speed isn't great, but it's not bad. Um, of course, all I'm really doing here is just shuttling it back and forth on this little test track, but it um, it is performing really well. Here, I'm going to take it, my camera off the stand Move a little closer for you. There you go. I'm going to lift her up. See how she takes this curb over here. Because this is 18 inch radius, which I think is a little bigger than second radius. And a little smaller than third radius curves. But, you know what? I mean, it took that really well. So, I'm pretty amazed. But one more time for y'all really low down here. Well, folks, honestly, that's about it for the review. There's uh, not much to say about it other than it's a beautiful locomotive. I personally would give it a 
probably a 9.5 out of 10. Um, it's simply a beautiful model. It is fantastic. I recommend anyone gets this model. Um, with that, uh, the video concludes. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you don't mind subscribing and liking the video, that'd be lovely. Um, goodbye for now.